Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch guitar sounds quickly using tracks in Reaper. I have a project I set up here with a few different guitar sounds, and I put each one on their own track. Setting all their inputs to the guitar input on my computer audio interface. I have one here called Clean with Tremolo, which we could hear like this. I have another one called Rock Chords, which we could also hear by putting this track into Record. And then finally, I have a lead guitar sound right here. And I put plugins on each track on the track effects. This one has a guitar simulator, an EQ, and a tremolo. And this track has a gate, a guitar simulator, a delay, and a reverb. And this track also has a guitar simulator with a different amount of distortion, a delay, and a reverb. And again, to switch them, we can just choose which track we want to hear and put them in record. Now, the benefit of putting them on separate tracks is we can adjust the volume and pan on each track to match. Now, we could switch tracks quicker using the auto arm feature. Just select all the tracks, right click, and go down here to auto record arm when track selected. And now, if I select this track, it goes into record. Select this track, it puts this track into record and takes this one out. So we're only going to hear this track. And the same thing for this one. And if I select none, we don't hear the guitar. Now we could switch this very quickly using keyboard shortcuts. If we go to the actions menu, and choose Show Action List, we could type in the filter Go To Track. And we could see Go to Next Track or Go to Previous Track. And we could switch it with the keyboard shortcuts right here. For the clean sound, the chord sound, and the lead sound. But we could change those keyboard shortcuts to do it even quicker. Instead of holding down a modifier, we could just switch it to any key we want. Like I like to use just the down arrow for this, and the up arrow for this. Now I could do that a little quicker. What I also like to do is create an empty track just below it. So I could use that for turning off the guitar sound. So I could start from here, use the down arrow to jump from track to track, hit it one more time to turn off the guitar. And now it's off. And we could also trigger this with MIDI. I have a MIDI keyboard right down here. I could just select the previous track, hit Add, hit a MIDI key that I'm not using. That's going to trigger that function, previous track. And do the same with next track. I'll use the key right next to it. Now we can use those MIDI keys to switch our guitar sound very quickly. and then off. And we could also select individual tracks using MIDI notes. So on our filter, type in Select Track. So we can scroll down to find these actions right here that are going to select the tracks by number. So we could add a MIDI key to track one, to 
to track two, track three, and track four. Which is going to turn off our sound. So now you can hit that mini key for track one, for track two, track three, and then four to turn it off. And if you have a MIDI pedal board like this one, you could trigger it the same way. So you can do it with your feet. And speaking of doing it with a pedal, we could also use a MIDI volume pedal or an expression pedal to do the same thing. Just hook it up to your MIDI controller and go back to go to track and choose the option right here. Go to track based on MIDI continuous controller data. Then we can move our foot pedal and it sees it. Now we can move the foot pedal to different positions up and down to switch our tracks very quickly. To the clean sound, the chord sound, the lead sound, and finally, turn the guitar off. So it's a great way of switching our sound very quickly with our feet or any MIDI controller we have. Now we can also have it switch on the fly while we're playing a project in Reaper. Let's delete this track as we don't need it. Let's switch our guitars to turn off the feature automatic record arm. And then we're going to use mute on and off to switch the different sounds while we play our project. Let's select all the tracks, go to the action list, type in mute envelope. Then we can toggle the mute envelopes right here. And we can see them over here. Let's deselect all the tracks and then mute them by pulling the envelope all the way down on each one. Now we can put them all into record. And we're not going to hear our guitar because the tracks are muted. Now we just have to create some automation to turn each track on and off. Let's start at bar two to bar seven, create an envelope segment right here for the clean guitar track, control shift on the PC, command shift on the Mac, move this up, do the same thing on bar seven to 11 for the rock guitar track, and do the same thing from 11 to 16 for the lead track. Now we can play our song and it's going to automatically mute on each section that we automated, which is going to work well in a live situation where you're playing along with a track or just for jamming for fun at home. And it could sound like this. Just hit play. I think you get the idea. Just like this, we could play along with our track and have Reaper switch our sounds for us. So anyway we choose to do it manually or do it automatically, we could switch our guitar sounds very quickly using tracks in Reaper. So that's how to switch guitar sounds quickly using tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.